Is your heart quietly a decade older than you are, raising risk long before symptoms show up? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking at why heart age often runs ahead of your calendar age, how researchers now quantify it, and the exact steps you can take to bring it back in line. I'm Alara Sky. We'll explain how risk age translates standard markers into an age you can understand, what the national data shows, and how targeted changes, drawn directly from today's article, can help you support healthier energy production inside your cells. Risk age reframes cardiovascular risk from abstract percentages into something tangible. Instead of hearing a 10-year risk number, you learn whether your heart is younger, the same, or older than your actual age. That clarity prompts action. When researchers analyzed 14,140 U.S. adults aged 30 to 79 with no prior heart disease, the weighted results represented about 138 million people. Women's hearts averaged about four years older than their bodies, men's nearly seven. Over one-third of women and more than half of men measured at least five years older, and roughly one in six women and one in four men were a full decade older. The burden isn't even. People with lower income, less education, and minority backgrounds showed larger gaps between heart age and chronological age, which widens health disparities across communities. You can make this personal with the PREVENT calculator created by the research team. Enter your routine health numbers, and you'll see a risk age you can track over time. It's practical, though some inputs, like total cholesterol, aren't ideal standalone markers. Now, to what you can change. The article's core point is that mitochondrial stress, driven largely by unstable dietary fats and modern habits, accelerates wear on your cardiovascular system. Address the inputs and you nudge your heart age back toward your real age. Start by eliminating linoleic acid from industrial seed and vegetable oils. Remove vegetable oil blends, soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola slash rapeseed, cotton seed, grape seed, rice bran, and peanut oils from your kitchen. Replace them with stable fats the article lists to include butter, ghee, tallow, and coconut oil. Assume restaurant meals use vegetable oils unless the chef confirms otherwise, and track LA intake with a goal under 5 grams daily. Under 2 grams is even better. Follow the expanded foods to avoid list precisely. In addition to industrial seed oils, avoid olive oil, all grades, chia seeds, common nuts and seeds, nut and seed butters including peanut, almond, cashew, mixed nut, sunflower seed, and tahini, avocados, fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, herring, anchovies, trout, tuna, and sable fish. Store-bought baked goods like commercial breads, crackers, pastries, donuts, tortillas, and pizza crusts. Chicken and pork from high PUFA diets. Dairy alternatives including almond, oat, soy, rice, coconut beverages, hemp, cashew, pea protein, macadamia milks and plant-based yogurts or ice creams, alcohol, lean muscle meats without collagen balance such as skinless chicken breasts, turkey breasts, pork tenderloin, and beef tenderloin, flax products, soy products including tofu, tempeh, edamame, soy protein and miso, hummus and chickpeas, veggie burgers and plant-based meat substitutes, and daily or excessive beans and legumes. Pair those removals with the foods to include that support metabolic health. Favor butter and ghee, eggs, tallow, dairy fats such as raw cheese or raw milk, coconut oil, dark chocolate, bone broth, collagen, or gelatin, ground beef or bison, and gelatinous cuts, beef shank, beef cheek, oxtail, pork hock or shank, leg of lamb, and chicken gizzards. Choose carbohydrates from the include list and eat enough of them. Aim for about 250 grams of healthy carbs per day. More if you're active. Prioritize in-season ripe fruit and white rice. Add well-cooked peeled potatoes and sweet potatoes, beets, and turnips. Include masa harina, sourdough bread, 
and quality cassava flour. Use occasional well-cooked beans, and if you tolerate them, include organic orange juice, sweet, homemade, or quality lemonade, and organic grape juice. Cook your vegetables thoroughly. The avoid list specifies raw vegetables typically eaten uncooked, such as lettuce, spinach, kale, arugula, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, celery, bell peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, radishes, zucchini, and snap peas. The include list directs you to well-cooked vegetables instead, which aligns with the goal of lowering mitochondrial stress. Walk daily. Treat walking as a metabolic intervention, not just exercise. If you're starting from sedentary, begin with 10 minutes after meals to blunt postprandial glucose rises and build toward a total of 60 minutes a day. Consistency matters more than intensity here. Get daily sunlight with timing that matches your current oil intake. Sunlight supports cellular energy, nitric oxide signaling, circadian rhythm, and mitochondrial melatonin. If you're still clearing seed oils, limit direct exposure between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. for at least six months. Emphasize morning and late afternoon light while your tissues normalize. Measure insulin resistance with H-O-M-A-I-R so you can track progress. Using milligrams per deciliter, HOMA-IR equals the product of fasting glucose and fasting insulin divided by 405. Using millimoles per liter, HOMA IR equals the product of fasting glucose and fasting insulin divided by 22.5. A value below 1.0 is considered healthy. Values above indicate insulin resistance, with higher numbers reflecting greater resistance. There's a practical illustration in the article. Dr. Mercola reports a HOMA IR of 0.2 after increasing carbohydrate intake while avoiding high LA oils indicating efficient fuel use and improved metabolic function. That's an example of how strategic changes can move the needle. If your risk age comes back older than your actual age, treat that as an early signal. Replace industrial and plant oil fats with the include list fats. Avoid the expanded list items, including olive oil, nuts and seeds, avocados, fatty fish, plant-based dairy and meat substitutes, alcohol and lean muscle meats without collagen balance, Choose well-cooked vegetables, eat adequate carbs from the include list, walk daily, time your sunlight, and compute H-O-M-A-I-R to monitor change. Here's your challenge. Run your numbers through the Prevent Calculator today. Remove seed oils and olive oil from your kitchen. Plan one meal built from the include list. Schedule three 10-minute walks after meals. And book fasting labs to calculate H-O-M-A-I-R this week. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.